Hello the YouTubes once again. Now we have the second, we are looking into the second character, Liliseto. Which is kind of like the, the dancer character, dancer class character for, from FF11 or whatever. So once again, I have no clue about FF11. I've never played it and I don't really plan to play it. But if there's any form of like, uh, what's that? Uh, Easter egg or whatever when it comes to like FF11 stuff, I would have no idea. Okay, I'm just going to point that out. Alright, so we're going to look at the character. She's a win character. She's unknown. Yeah, because she's supposed to be an uh, elf-looking character. Uh, balanced with HP is 1550, 8250 attack, and she's a dagger-style character. Yep. Okay, so Dancer's Fury. Massive wind damage to a foe. Activate Whirling Edge. What's that? That's skill. Alright. Torn stance, damage immunity to caster. One hit, boost to critical hit rate. When caster skill change zero, raise level by weight. Is the same one? Wait, so it's the same? <laughs> so it's perfect for uh, full auto again, huh? Charm, essential dance, charm effect to all foes, hit to attack. When caster skill chain level is uh, one, raise level by one, yeah. Whirling age, where wind damage to all foes. Number of hits increase upon each cast. Max is 4. When caster skill changes the 2 raised by level 1. Okay. So Trope Mayakov Dancer. Deals multi-attack so she has a guaranteed double attack. Boost to dodge rate upon normal attacks when skill chain is at 3. Reset level and activate Whirling Age. Let's go Kango again! V Vivifying Waltz. When an ally is almost knocked out at the end of turn, restore all allies' HP and remove one debuff. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> so it sounds a lot like... Uh, I guess this kind of sounds a lot like Funfu skill in a way. But minus the clear, of course. I mean, this is a Kango game, right? So <laughs> so she has two triple attacks. One dodge, one heal, and... A slight chance of a one-turn cut to skill cooldowns with every normal attack. Ooh! Fuck, I feel like I need to level that, huh? <laughs> I mean, compared to Prishi, I feel like I need to level that. Maybe I should just level that. Win attack, crit. Hmm. Okay, let's see what you get. Skill cap would be good on you. Okay, alright, you got a uh, lower roll on skill cap, but it's fine. I guess skill cap is still pretty good on you. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just fucking level this. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright. Sure, let's test her out. Alright, Kango time. <laughs> Kango time, perfect. Alright, here we go, Kango. What's my grid? Exactly the same. Yep. Uh maybe I should Yeah, I don't think I need that. Fuck. Since we are going uh skill base anyway, I don't really need that. So where the fuck is my second uh beak? Yeah. Second beak, two harps, one. Du, 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 du. Okay, we good. Du, 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 du. Okay, we good. Okay. All right. Who needs this? Let's put Siete in there. Perfect for fucking Kango bullshit anyway. So. All right. Goodbye, Naru. No one, no, no one likes you. <laughs> oh yeah. Here comes Lily Seto. Let's go, baby. Mm -mm. All right. I have Ga I have Garrison in the back line as well. Perfect, man. Okay, baby. Alright, we have a uh, fucking sleepy potato. Perfect. Okay. I do not have Alex, unfortunately. So, uh... Little brother, I need you. If you think about it, right? Technically, Banu... She works relatively good for Banu, too, if you think about it. Just because, uh... She's very nuke-heavy as well, because of this. Right? So, if you can actually just spam this... And it's probably really, really good, in a way. But, yeah. For... Especially for people who has like lack of like nukes or whatever. I guess it's pretty nice, right? Lily Seto. Okay, bam. Oh yeah, I I guess I'll I'll just read the, the her fucking numbers uh in here. <laughs> I forgot to read her numbers. Alright, so I'll just full auto again. Okay, so I'll disable that. Uh, so for Lily Zeto's uh, thing, her first skill, she gets unchallenged one time, and she gets 70% chance for a 30% more damage crit. 
second skill is 25% attack down and the charm. Okay. Okay, so third skill is... 330k base cap per hit. Number of hits increase to each cast, so you get up to 4 casts. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. And then her passive, she has like around 15%, around 15% dodge. Cool. And then when an ally is 25% HP and below, you heal up to 2000 HP. And, and one clear. Not bad. Not bad. So according to this uh, as well, her passive that I, the only one that I leveled, uh, uh, EMP thingy, Apparently, it's around 5% chance to reset, so it's kind of like standard, I suppose. Alright. Her nukes are pretty good, though. So that means, if you think about it, wouldn't her cast be increased relatively fast as long as she just keeps ogging? <laughs> Alright. As long as she keeps oging, she just gets that shit. Right? Because, I mean, yeah, because she, she's already hitting four times, right? <laughs> the damage was pretty good, though, right? <laughs> the damage is pretty good. But I think the. Her cooldowns on her nukes is the short one. Five turns. 200 meter again, alright. But unfortunately, she can't seem to line up her skills at all because her third skill is 5 turns cooldown versus, uh, you know, like how cliche is. So the, the skill chain thing will not really work properly, right? So it's like if you want to make the skill chain work, you uh, have to manual, right? But I don't think it really matters to her in a way. My God, for for fuck, her, her nukes, her, her nuke is doing more damage than her actual ogi itself. It's kind of funny. But yeah, I guess for her because you know, the only thing you're getting out of the the skill chain thing is essentially like you're activating her third skill automatically, right? Whenever she autos. But I guess if you're already using like an, a team that ogies a lot anyway, that allows her to ogie a lot, I don't think that really matters at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you see, like that skill chain thing is gonna be like hanging there for quite some time, right? Because you know, you can only press two skills. You gotta wait for the thing to come back up again. So yeah, it'll take a while, but I don't think it's really gonna be a problem at all. Just because, yeah, you're gonna do a lot of damage just because of her uh, nukes anyway. I'm not sure if I actually use skill cap for this, but I think she'll be fine anyway. <laughs> Good damage, right? <laughs> yeah, so her, that's why when, when the, her, her base cap on her third skill is actually pretty fucking high. 330k, man. <laughs> And then you, you, it's win, right? You have fucking beaks and shit for easy access or skill cap or whatever or supplemental shit, right? So, it's so simple. <laughs> ah. Alright, there you go again. Yes, activate all, all of it. <laughs> Poing. Hard cap, boys. Hard cap. Poing. Seven point two mil, man. Did she hit a hard cap as well? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I guess I guess I had to put in her EMP to actually get the hard cap.
I, I'm not even sure if I'm going to hit red HP, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure if I'm really going to hit the, 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 the red HP to activate her passive heals thing. Maybe I can? We'll see. I mean, she looks pretty good too, though. But, like, I think in terms of, like, usability, right? She might not be as easy to use, like, compar to comparison to, like, Appreciator. I just think that maybe for Lily Seto's case, right? You probably need to, like, at least have some some character to provide a little bit of meta generation. Like, if you don't have CATA or whatever, right? Just have, just standard MC Kango or even Relic Buster, right? Would actually be enough, I think. But obviously, it's not gonna be as fast as this. Obviously, you know, if you are using Kango and shit, right? It's probably already like, I would say it's kind of like overkill already, because she's gonna be gaining a, like a lot of meter anyway. <laughs> Boing. Wow. Ow. Am I gonna get red HP? <laughs> Everyone has already full meter, man. What? <laughs> Good damage, though. I I'm actually curious to see how much damage she did total. Looks very, uh. It looks very, uh. Si she looks like a big significant chunk of damage is actually from her. Because of the amount of nukes that she's doing, because you know she ogies a lot. And then she auto nukes like that. 4 mil nukes, man. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> 4 mil nukes is no joke. Oh, excuse me. Oh, red HP heal, please! Hell bliss! Oh hell yeah, brother! We gotta see it once. Let's go! <laughs> ah shit, we gotta see it, man! They heal, baby! <laughs> they heal! Very cool, man! Very cool heals! <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I didn't get shit. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's pretty good! That's actually pretty good! <laughs> that's actually not bad. I mean, it's quite close to... It's, it's actually quite close to, to... It's only 6 mil away to CATA, man. <laughs> that's actually not bad. I mean, this is 120 CATA, obviously. If it's like 100, 100, 130 or 150 CATA, probably not, obviously, right? So yeah, it's pretty, pretty okay, man. Not bad, that, that 4 mil nukes every time Ogi is doing a lot, man. <laughs> it's doing a lot of shit, man. Good stuff, man. Very, yeah, another very solid character of the collab so far, man. It's actually good. I'm liking it. Nice, good shit, man. Good shit. I think the only downside is, like like I said earlier, it's just the, uh, the, uh, the skill chain thing is not going to be working that great. Just because, you know, it is like, it's just going to be left hanging and shit, right? So, yeah. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Time to go on to Iroha next. Oh boy, Iroha, wait. It, I hope Iroha doesn't require fucking Kango again. Fuck, that means I need to make Kango for fire too. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, bye. Let's go for the next one. <laughs>